Right, we're going to look at multiplying mixed numbers. You can see we've got two, two mixed numbers here. Now we're going to convert them both into improper fractions first. So let's start. The first one is going to be 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 over 5. The next one's going to be 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay. Now we're going to time sideways. 6 times 5 is 30 over 5 times 2 is 10. It's an improper fraction. So we're going to divide 10 into 30. We're going to end up with a whole number because 10 can go into 30 three times. There's no fraction left over. That one worked out quite nicely. Let's look at the next one. Let's convert our mixed numbers into improper fractions first. That's going to be 15 plus 1, 16. 4 plus 1, 5. Okay, so now we're going to have to go to our column here, a little scribble column, and work out 16 times 5. 5 times 6, or 6 times 5 is 30. And 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So the top line is 80. That was what that one came to. Now 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. Then we're left with an improper fraction over here. So we're going to... Divide 12 into 80. It's going to go um, not 8 times, not 7 times. Let's work it out over here. 80 divided by 12. We can probably go in 6 times. 6 times 12 is 72. 80 minus 72 is 8. So it's 6 and 8. 8 over 12. 6 and 8 over 12. And we're going to reduce this a little bit further down because we can see they do share common factors. We're going to divide them both by 4. So it's going to end up in 6 and 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 6 and 2 thirds. Okay, next one. Right, so we're going to first convert them into improper fractions. That's going to be 12, 13 over 4 times 3, 4, 5, 5 over 3. Okay, 13 times 5. Okay, in your scribble corner here, 3 times 5 is 15, carry a 1. 5, 6. So the top row is going to be equal to 65. What's the bottom one going to be? 4 times 3. That'll be 12. Okay. Now we're going to make it into a mixed number. 12 will go in there 5 times. Remainder 5 over 12. Okay. Next one is yours. So you're going to do this at home. You're going to press pause. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do it together. So I'll see you just now. Okay, you're back. Let's first convert these into improper fractions. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 5 plus 2 is 7. Now we're going to times them out sideways. 9 times 7 is 63. And 4 times 5 is 20. Now we're going to convert our improper fraction into a mixed number. 20 will go into 60 three times. And then there's going to be a 3 left over because 20 times 3 is 60. So 63 minus 60 is a 3 left over over 20. I can prove that to you over here. 63 divided by 20. You remember all this that I've done in my previous lecture. So 20 into 63 we're going to say goes three times. 3 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 2 is 6. 3 minus 0 is 3, and 6 minus 6 is nothing. So it's 3 with a 3 remainder over the 20 outside here. And there it is there. Okay, I hope you got that. We are using all the skills you've learned in maths at this time now. You can see the stuff you learned in future grades has not gone to waste. 
it is very, very important to understand your work from day one. If you find you've got gaps with some of this, go to my lectures. I have started from the very beginning, Columna Edition, and I've built up with every video, one little step at a time through every rule in maths up until this point and going further. And if you don't understand those rules, they're going to catch you out. Maths is like playing a board game. You have to understand the rules. If you apply the rules, you win. Okay, see you in the next lecture.